Hey, what's up, Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and today I'm going to show you a feature that was added in C40 that might have been overshadowed a little bit by the liquid simulation, that is the new plant feature. Basically, Maxon is like completely partnered up with Lobwork. I don't know if you pronounce it Lobwork or Lobwork, but um, basically uh, we've got plants now, but there's more than just a plant, there's a plant generator. So there's actually a way to easily add like preset variations based on season, the amount of foliage, stuff like that. So there's all these new settings so we don't just have to like clone one plant across it. We can plant variations of that same plant. So we get like color variants, stuff like that much, much easier. Very cool. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So, so if we come up here and we go to create, you can see there's a generator is yellow. And that is because there is now a plant generator with this little yellow dot. There's a plant generator right there. If we add that into our scene, you can see it's red because we don't have any plants selected. So let's just go ahead and figure out how to use this first. Let's make a landscape. We go beep, boop, boop, go to landscape. And then we always be like, oh, that looks great. But then we add our guy here for scale. And we're like, oh, that's not a landscape. That's a pile of dirt. So we need a landscape. So we need to go bigger, add a zero. Maybe add a zero here. There we go. Zoom out. I'm zooming out like it's Unreal Engine. Zoom out here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and just change the seed up a bit. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. And I always like to actually turn off border at sea level. This is, I think, it gives like a better looking landscape. And let's take that height down just a smidge. I don't want it to be too crazy like that. And we can add these segments up high. We can lower some of these rough furrows and some of the fine furrows. We'll crank those up. There we go. And of course, you can adjust the scale and everything of this plateau level, all that stuff. Multi fracture. Turn that off. Gives us more of a nice, softer rolling hills kind of thing. And now maybe we can turn that scale down a bit. There we go. Not bad, right? Okay, cool. Now our guy's right there. It's a pretty good little tiny landscape. We'll put him right here. Weep. Not bad. All right, so let's go ahead and add some plants on this. Yeah, what's interesting about this is uh, if you go to create, obviously it's here underneath the generators. And we have all of these normal ones we used to made a ball. LOD, and then there's the plant one down here, whereas if we go in here to these generators, um, plant is not here for some reason. Maybe they're at it, maybe they'll forget it. You can add it in there, um, but it's not here or here, which is interesting. So, so we'll go to create, we'll go to generators, we'll go to plant. Boop. There we go. So now we've got a plant. So now inside of plant, what we can do is click right here to browse the plant. So it pops up this new window which is nice. So we can actually like scale these up. It's basically like a tiny asset browser preview, but filtered out to just the lob work plants. Now, sadly, there's not a way to filter out from what I can tell, you know, what is behind the max on one paywall and what's not besides just like getting over it. Um, so let's go ahead and grab like a field maple. I think we all have access to that. Yeah. Let's do a field maple. All right. So now we have a field maple and you can see like the scale of it and everything. There's our convex hole. It still comes in exactly the way it used to, which is, you know, the preview file. And so, but now you can see we don't have like the weird null and then the two groups. We have the proxy and the novel one. Now it's just one item. And inside of this, you can adjust whether you see the full geometry in render mode right here or in the editor. Do you want to see the full geometry or the convex null, which obviously the convex null is much faster for like scaling them out and stuff like that. So you can see, but you can see we can change the variance here. So we click model, and now we have a young, a middle-aged, a full-grown, a young, middle-aged, full-grown variant two, and the young full -grown. So there's three variants of each type. And so inside of those variants, they each have different seasons. So they have four seasons inside each of those. So those will obviously affect the color and stuff like that. And then on top of that, we now have leaf density. So let's just go ahead and look through these previews really quick and then, you know, show how to quickly make a little forest scene very quickly. Right, so this is 100% leaf density. Now let's do like 1% leaf density so we can really see the difference. Boom. There you go. So that's really cool. This. So now like if he just wants the variance between the plants a little bit, you can just change the leaf density so they don't all look exactly identical, which is really nice. Uh, I like that, um, which is cool. Also, like you could do trees further in the back that could have less leaves on them so that it's kind of like a little detail kind of thing. But yeah, there we go. Cool. So let's just take a look. Let's add just a redshift sun and sky in here. And then we'll grab, is there any ground material here? Let's look at materials. Anything not behind the paywall, 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 paywall. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll just use uh, cargo. 
Cargo is always there to save the day. Cargo is actually having a sale right now as well. Um, materials, ground, grass, perfect, import. I like this patchy grass. It'll be fine. Cool, there we go. All right, so we got a tree, we got that, blah, 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 blah. Let's go ahead and render this. Now, I am still on my 3070 Ti, so it's not going to be the fastest. Still sad. The new rig is coming. There we go. Cool. So there's our, our tree you can see here. So let's go ahead and just take this and copy paste. All right, my C40 crashed on me because of my limited rupee RAM. <laughs> okay, soon. It'll be here soon. All right, so we're just going to make some copies of this real quick. We'll keep it on convex bowl for now. Or sorry, convex hull. So the thing with the uh, editor mode is IPR uses the editor mode, so you still have to change this to render geometry, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, it's kind of silly. So there you can see we've got three totally unique trees, and obviously you could just copy and paste them again, change the leaf density, and create a nice little variation. Um, and now the colors you can see are slightly different as well across them which is nice and then we can go ahead and change the season if i were to say ipr here we'll see if it lets me render it might crash out no no there it is okay cool so let's go ahead and grab all three of these and we'll change from summer to winter and we'll see what changes so now they're all dead all right there's spring looks a lot like summer yes so that's really nice, right? I like that. Cool. So if you want to create a four scene real quickly, what we can do is just grab a matrix scanner. Or we could do a cloner probably. Let's take all these, switch them to convex hull here. Actually, we could... Yeah, we'll try convex hull. That's fine. I right, will do a cloner. We'll do object. Because we're not going to have too many. Like, we're not going to have like millions of them in the scene. We should be fine. And we'll grab our landscape, toss it in there. Boom. Render instance or multi instance, whatever you want. Uh, grab all of these, toss them inside the cloner. You can zoom out. And we will need to go into the transform, say negative 90 in the P. Whoop, there we go. I like that. And let's go ahead and crank them up. Zoom. Now, it's not that big a deal if they overlap, but obviously I don't want them all being like so crooked, so I don't want them to align. So now I need to actually go back in here and turn off the uh, the P. So yeah, but then some of them are overlapping like too much. So how do we like add, fix that? Well, there's uh, something we can do pretty simply that's called push apart. Um, that is a MoGraph effector, push apart. And what we can do is sort of search the radius. And so that'll kind of push them apart like that. But we don't really actually want to push them apart. We want them to like hide them. So it's just going to delete them. So if we scale this back down, it is kind of buggy. So you can see that those are too close together. Let's scale that up a bit. Like that. So when they get too close, they won't overlap. So now we can still come in here and keep cranking up the numbers like 800 maybe, but it won't add any in that will overlap too much. So now we have a bunch of trees that and none of them are really overlapping too much, like the trunks are never going to touch and stuff. So that's really good. So that is how you can do that. And then we'll take this uh, MoGraph again, effector, go to random effector, and we will add some, some space here, not on the Y really, like five centimeters, we won't do much. Uh, the scale, we can add some uniform scale of like point five maybe that's too much maybe point just point two variance and then the main thing is rotation maintain do a big rotation variance there a little bit there and there so they just aren't perfectly straight up and down because you know nature is not perfect that's what's great about it all right cool so there we go there's that so now we have this lovely horse we come up here i'm going to save this before i render and there we go you can see i've taken one of these trees and i've set it down to 50 density uh, or thirty percent density in the leaves. We'll take another one down to maybe like uh, forty, just to add some even more variance in here. We've set one to spring, two to or one to summer, two to spring, to so get some color variance as well. And you can see like this is the same tree 
like thing cloned over again and obviously our forest looks much more real much much better being you know completely procedural like this right so you have like the different trees and obviously the more you clone you just change the numbers values very simply which is great because you couldn't do that before you were kind of limited to like whether you, you could like go in and mess with the colors and stuff but i wish that it had a little more color value control here inside of this i just wish you could have like a hue slider or something like that uh built in to affect all materials but they do all seem to share just these three presets so they seem to be autumn spring and summer so if you want to go in there and affect them you can uh, to add some variance i guess but not too bad right not too bad <laughs> 